everyone how's it going it's jewel and reed here hello and welcome to the esatino weekly mastermind episode 121 let's go one two one Woohoo! it's thursday another live stream here for you Welcome, welcome. My name is Orit and this is Jewel. We're founders of Esatino Media, where we help you create profitable content so you can make more money doing what you love, sharing your message with the world and your talents and your creativity. So we host these live streams every single week to connect with you because YouTube can sometimes be like a one-way street of us putting out videos, but this is an opportunity to connect with you, to network, chat. yeah, chat and get to know you, uh, network with like-minded creators and entrepreneurs as well. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to pop those in the comments. Yeah, so we like to start off the show with sharing the wins for the week. Mm -hmm. We like to start off with the energy, the high vibes. You know, you can actually get excited. If you can get excited for someone else's win, it, that energy transfers over to you. So that's why we like to start off the show that way. And that's why I wear a Thunderbolt necklace. This Ooh. is from the YouTube channel, Yes Theory. I always think of Harry Potter when I say that. <laughs> no, it's not. It's about <laughs> energy and it's from the YouTube channel, Yes Theory. So share your wins with us in the comments. Anything that went well this past week, something you got checked off, progress on a goal, something cool that happened. It could be anything at all. Business or personal related is fine. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's say hello. Shout out to Lisa mm -hmm. right off the bat for a $2 super chat. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you Lisa. so much, Lisa. You're awesome. And yes, I do. Um, it is going to be Thanksgiving in the United States, I believe, on Monday. Next week. And yeah. then I'm waiting for Black Friday. It spills over here into Canada. So I'm waiting to buy a new GoPro, see what uh, cool deals they have for, for Black Friday. Uh, thank you yes. so much for the super chat. Really appreciate your support, always your support. Um, hello, Roland. We've got Roland from Getting It Done North of Seven. And Liat, hello, hello. Liat's in the house. Timothy's in the house. Hey, Timothy. And uh, Timothy's liking the, <laughs> the background lights. Yeah, so now that yeah. it's darker here, uh, we can put on this light and then and everything is mm -hmm. white in here so it just bounces off and creates the ambiance creates like a disco discotheque hello teddy how's teddy it going? how's it going haven't seen you in a while how's your channel doing please do give us an update on your channel i remember you know we were um you would give us your your weekly updates on your subscribers and your earnings and stuff i'd love to hear where that's at right now and hello, Felix. How's it going? We've got Felix in the house. Phil, hello, hello. Time yeah. does fly. I it's know. crazy. And congrats, by the way. I saw that you hit 14,000 subscribers. That's Ooh. amazing. Um, yeah, very cool. Congratulations. That's a right there. Product Patrol, hello, hello. Product Patrol's in the house. Hey, Cheeks, how's it going? Yes, the lighting effects. You know, what's doing this whole thing is just this one strip bar it is it was i would say a little bit expensive on amazon but i i originally got like a cheap one because i i didn't think i needed to spend you know a decent amount on a lighting bar a color lighting bar and i bought like a 50 dollar one and then it didn't even work and i was like oh screw this we'll buy quality so i bought like a, yeah. a good one it's like it's heavier it's it's for like professional photo shoots and stuff and so far you guys are liking it yeah we've been using it a few times you've seen it in the videos too in mm -hmm. some of the tutorials hello brayden we've got brayden in the house hey brayden and Monica, that's Monica on Facebook. Hello, hello. Hey, Monica, congratulations. I saw that you graduated. You got your master's degree. Yes. That's amazing. Had a Huge great chat with Monica um, the other day. Yeah, yesterday we had our um, YouTube coaching session. And the cool thing about Monica is every time we get on a call, so it's usually, you know, I'm critiquing like her video or her channel or something. And then we say, uh, fix this, fix this part, do this. This is a pixelated, make this a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And then every time, you know, she comes back and she fixes it. She fixes whatever we say to do. And 
literally each session, she's getting better and better and better. And she's at 95 subscribers. She's almost at her first 100 subscribers. And Super cool. She had no prior experience to doing YouTube. So that's yeah. really cool. And she's dedicated to it. She's she's dedicated to the journey of YouTube. I'm so proud of you, Monica. Like you should be proud of yourself. Like you reaching that first 100 subscribers and and you know starting from scratch like with you know from zero. I mean, we all start from zero, but really just taking it little by little, adding one piece at a time, learning one thing at a time has brought you this far. So mm -hmm. super excited for you. Lisa's goal for 2023 is to join a gym, lose weight. And yes, I know it's going to be hard, but that is my new year's resolution. Cool. So I have some advice for that because yeah, I spent years, you know, I, I gained a bunch of weight from like 2012 to 2018 was my heaviest. And then I had like a realization check, a reality check. And uh, because it was affecting not only like uh, I didn't like the way that I looked, but it was affecting my health. Yeah. Like I felt so tired and lethargic and I would be carrying like this is back when we used to uh, carry our gear everywhere and go to all these different coffee shops and all these different places. We, we still do it now, but like a lot less. And I remember there was this one building and it's a heritage building, which means that they've kept it as authentic as possible from like the 1900s. So there's no elevator, right? <laughs> and so we had to carry, I remember we were carrying our umbrella lights and the bag is big and there's like a bunch of other mm -hmm. things in it and then we we're carrying it up and I was totally winded. And this was like 2018. So I'm like, I was younger, obviously. And I was like, oh my God, like I can't imagine, you know, when I get older, how is it going to feel? And that's when I, you know, make, there was, there's moments like that of, of severe fatigue where I'm like, this has got to change. And I'm probably in the best shape that I've ever been. Um, as you guys know, I've got a personal trainer and things like that. But for you, Lisa, starting out, my advice to you is take it super light, go 1%, you know, don't go to the gym and be like, one hour, one hour, one hour, and then you like blow out all your energy. You're totally tired and you hate it. Start off light. Start, and I would recommend reading the book uh, Atomic Habits. Mm -hmm. There was someone who was, um, they were overweight and they were trying to lose weight. And they, all they did was just get in their gym clothes and go to the gym and then stay there for five minutes and then leave. Yeah. And because they need they wanted to get used to attending the gym because they, they couldn't even do that. Yeah. And most people would think five minutes like what? that's a waste. That's a waste. Yeah. Just to get in gear and then go drive to the gym and go for five minutes. But honestly, that's that the habit is just like, yeah, the act of just going there for a little bit is what starts the momentum. The name of the game is to not go to the gym four or five times a week. No. The name of the game is to start momentum. So whatever that looks like for you, um, you know, it, it could be the five, ten, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is or more. That is the key to not only starting a habit, but also like having a habit that's sustainable over and over again. Because we, yeah. we all set goals in the beginning of the year. And then how many times does it just fall by the wayside. Right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've really learned over the past years is like to, to have the big audacious goals that we want to achieve, but also start with the 1%. What can I do to get started now? Mm -hmm. And we're here with you, giving you energy, you know, always. always check in with us, let us know how it went, you know, yeah. you were on elliptical or you went on the treadmill, like, you know, keep us posted on that. Timothy Wynn, I read the book, The Power of One More. It's very positive and I needed mm. it. Yes, that is Power of One More. That is, what's his name? Uh, so, Ed Milet? Yes, Ed Milet. I was going to say he's totally jacked. Like he's totally ripped. Yeah. Um, yes, Ed Milet, The Power of One More. Amazing, amazing book. Yes. <laughs> I already said your win for you. Yeah. See, that's... I. 
Like I, 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 when I'm on social media, I'm like seeing your guys' posts and stuff. So I do see what you guys are posting. Congratulations, Phil. Teddy B is sharing a win. Got invited to speak at the first annual ThetaCon event. Very wow. cool. Wow. I didn't even know that they hold those. That's awesome. That's cool. That is cool because you have a t channel dedicated to Theta. You're an influencer in that space now, <laughs> Teddy. I hope you know people look up to you for knowledge in that space. It's from your YouTube channel. That's that's Wow, amazing. that's epic. Very cool. Still remember when you first started and you had like 18 subs or something. <laughs> Still remember that. Cheeks, a so product patrol. Product review job for a commercial appliance. Nice. Sold cool. a product review job for a commercial. You mean. So you're reviewing this appliance? You got it. Right? Is that what I'm understanding? Let us know what the appliance <laughs> is, or is it a surprise? Um, people are saying congrats to Phil. Hey, Tracy, how's it going? Hi, Tracy. We also have Eddie Jr. in the house. Hey, Hello. Eddie. What's um, good, y'all? Lots good. Lots, lots is good. Teddy B says, subs are stagnant, but no worries. Of course. If subs are um, stagnant and, okay, so let's say you, let's say you do care. You're, you're, you're like uh, chill about it, but let's say you wanted to switch it up. Always trying a different style of content potentially polling your audience and asking them s some things that they would like to see to, to mix it up a little bit. You can try that out, but that's awesome to hear. And Felix's win of the week, mini win. Still a win. Finally researching standing desks since I'll probably get one at some point. You know, I was just like, you know, thinking about a new, not necessarily a standing desk, but I was thinking of getting one of those, um, those balls to sit on or just like a different seating arrangement. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I was having that same, same conversation this past week. So yeah, that's absolutely like just starting the conversation on that. It impacts everything, especially if you sit at your desk for hours. Mm -hmm. Liat saying great wins all. Congrats, everybody. Yes. And yes. shout out to Cheeks of Product Patrol. Yeah, what? He has become a member, a channel so cool, member. Cheeks, thank you. Awesome. Congratulations and on your air pure. It's an air purifier. And thanks for becoming a member. We appreciate it. That's awesome. That's cool. And now we'll see the little color or the icons. or Yeah, you can see it on, on the, the chat. Yeah, yeah, you can see it on the chat. Um, I think both Lisa and Brayden, they are our oldest channel members. And they have the black star next to their uh, name. That's like the, the shown the longest one. So that's like the Very really cool. cool. And black is one of my favorite colors. So that's why I chose that one as the longest. Um, let's share some of our wins here. So first win mm -hmm. is uh, we hired a videographer. So we are going to be trying this new thing where once a month we are going to be going into a studio uh, with a new videographer and we're going to batch film. So one of the things that we had tried out prior was uh, renting Airbnbs and renting hotels to film in. Yeah. And it did work. But another thing to think about for us is the time it takes to set up, in particular with our DSLR camera. So that's the higher mm -hmm. end camera. The higher end camera, uh, you know, it's more professional. So it like needs more. It needs a tripod. It needs audio. It needs lighting. It needs... Um, you to be able to set the color correction and stuff. It's not like a webcam where you it's more literally high just get, yeah, webcam, yeah, it's a high maintenance thing. And so I found that, you know, I do like the look and quality of DSLR footage and stuff like that, but I don't like how long it takes. And so mm -hmm. um, I'm well, we're willing to outsource that. We have, we had a meeting with a videographer and we're like, Hey, this is what we want we need a studio we just sh walk in we have our topics because we can just blab and talk about our topics really easily we only talk about stuff we know and so we just want to show up you that person videographer presses record and then we want to do at least 10 videos in one go and yeah. then we leave 
and we don't have to worry about take down, packing up, set up, uh, you know, trying to get the right lighting. They will have that already prepared for us before we walk in and we just need to have our content and that'll be able, that'll give us a chance to be able to give better content, better preparation, yeah. not so much, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you gotta, you, you rush and you're like, oh, the setup and all this kind of stuff. You guys know us. We always love to build efficiency into everything that we do and build systems into what we do and just always thinking about, okay, how can we simplify this and just make it more efficient that we could just show up, do what we need to do, and then, you know, keep moving on to the next thing. Um, and so, yeah, we're really excited to have brought on this videographer and uh, also have him in mind for an upcoming project, a big milestone video project as they well. I mentioned it. Yeah. So they, they know. Okay. So yeah, um, that's going to be really cool to get someone on the journey with us on this adventure on this helicopter adventure with us filming this milestone for the 50,000 subscriber video yeah. on the channel so yeah it's gonna be really fun yeah so we are approaching 50,000 subscribers at a faster rate than i had anticipated so we're yeah. already at 4,000 sorry 4,000 49,000 like 500 something and we're pretty much going to reach it probably within the first two weeks of December. Yeah. But we won't film it probably until January. And I told you that we want to rent a helicopter and go up to the glaciers and see some ice caves and just see stuff that I haven't seen before. Right. I'm very fascinated by epic nature and I want to capture that. And I want to celebrate for the 50,000 up in the mountains and in the sky. And uh, we're, um, I'm going to be having my regular GoPro stuff, but I wanted this video to be like professionally done. So he's also doing um, that project with us too. So stay tuned for lots of cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that and another win actually for our client Um we were working on a, um, a big course and it was the pre-launch of yeah. uh, how to build your own basement suite with this, with our client. And his name is Brian Banks with uh, Freedom Vest Properties. Um, and we had a goal to release it before he went to Costa Rica with his family. And so uh, we, we were like rushing to get it done and we finally mm -hmm. launched it you know, did a release and everything like that, email sequence, funnels, all, all that. And here's the cool thing. He, he had been thinking about doing this course for two years. His whole idea started uh, in 2020 during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get it started. Saw us speaking on a live stream one time and reached out to me. And then one thing led to another. And then he told us his dream, his goal. And we we're like, we can get you to the finish line. We can get it launched. Like, um, you know, if, if we work together, we can get it together. And we've been working together for the past year, finally launched, released. And he did his first two sales while in Costa Rica. And, you know, before he left for Costa Rica, he's like, you know, it'd be awesome. He's like, if I made two, if I've not made two, if I made a sale, like while on the beach yeah. in Costa Rica. Yeah. And he did. He made two sales, like $3,000. And he is like overjoyed, totally happy, excited. He's never, like he doesn't have an online thing. He it, He's in construction. He is a carpenter by trade. And, you know, he knows the physical labor of the work. He builds properties. And so we introduced him to the online world. And he's like, I'm liking this online money, you know, because it's a lot of work to, you know, build a property and like then have it turn profit. It, of course, it is very profitable, but he likes this online money too. So we're very excited for him. Yeah. And it's going to continue on. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's really cool when our clients get wins too. So we're very excited for him. And he it just happened like yesterday. I love seeing our clients make their first few sales. Like it, it's so rewarding. And um, you know, getting to learn what he's teaching 
it's such a crazy learning curve because in the course he's teaching how to physically build out a basement suite for an investment property. Um, and it's funny because like, like us looking at what he's teaching, like that's a huge learning curve. But yeah. at the same time, he was going through a massive learning curve, just filming the course, putting this together, you know, figuring out, okay, what would be best in this course video in this section um, and all of the things that come along with releasing or launching a course online. So yeah, it's like, it's really cool to just see the culmination of all that work come together and make his first two sales while on the beach. Yeah. yeah. And the cool thing is um, Brian's totally green to course creation. Like he had never mm -hmm. filmed videos or like literally done anything like that before. And, you know, he's, he's built uh, duplexes, sixplexes, basement suites. And he said like this online world, it was such a learning curve for him that this was like the hardest thing he's ever done in business was to <laughs> do this like uh, like film a course write it like you know uh launch it i'm doing all the editing and stuff and arik's doing all like the sales copy and the funnels and stuff yeah. but yeah it's it's very rewarding i have often referred to this course as the mount everest course because it's over 100 lectures yeah. uh, because there are a lot of steps but um it's really cool to see you know his first few wins absolutely let's head over to the comments here so I'll be speaking virtually on a big screen from home. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I've seen a lot of those conferences where they project the attendees and the speakers on the screen. So that's really cool. Awesome. Congratulations on yeah, that opportunity. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, I think Roland was referring to the, the helicopter thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to be epic. I can't I, wait for that. Courses are amazing for passive income. It's so great that you both helped him make his dream become realized. Yeah, something that's been two years in the making. Um, that's huge. It's a huge relief. Like it's been a two year goal and just to get it down, done and out of the way and launched. And now of course comes the fun part, which is like, you know, interacting with your students and getting them, them wins. Yeah, getting, helping them get results out of the course. And um, so yeah, lots of, Lots of other cool things to come after launching this one course with him. Yeah. And Brian's like, he is like us where he really cares about the student and like he really wants yeah. them to be successful. Like he, he, whoever comes in this course, like he wants you to like build a basement suite for yourself to, you know, generate income and be a real estate investor and stuff like that. So he really is a really caring person and, that's one of the reasons why we partnered with him. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting, you know, when you put out the energy, you kind of like attract the same kind of people. You do. Um, yeah. Same kind of uh, clients and uh, business partners and stuff. Yeah. Yes, it does feel amazing to get him launched and out there. And yeah, so we always try to do with all of our clients is to push them forward. Um, but you let's head over to the... Um, the title of this video and I'm trying to find yeah guys so while Jewel is pulling that up I'd love to hear some of your goals or, or things that you want to achieve in the new year in the upcoming year 2023 can you believe it we're already you know it, it's this these past few years have been like just a whirlwind and um, I'm sure a lot of people can relate it's like you, you blink your eyes and it's like, where did the past three, four years go? Yeah. Because uh, everything felt like it was at a standstill at one point and then it flew by when things started opening up. And yeah, so I feel like 2023 is, is the year of stability um, and just things kind of settling down. Hopefully that's my, my aim, but we have a lot of really cool things that we want to do in the upcoming year and i'd love to hear yours you know whether it's for your youtube channel for your business for, for yourself your creative goals yeah personal goals just like lisa was sharing um one about personal fitness uh, i'd love to hear them please put them in the comments and we'll share some of ours too yeah so what are your goals for 2023 there's the official question right there mm -hmm. And uh, let us know. Uh, for me, some of my goals are to 
outsource and hire more help for the Esatino business. And we've already kind of started doing mm -hmm. that now uh, because we are getting like bigger projects that need our attention. Uh, last week, we mentioned that, you know, we got our first ever six figure client and it's still mind boggling, you know, how, how far we've come. Uh, but I want to make sure, you know, to be able to give the proper attention to detail for our clients. So that's why we're like, okay, let's, you know, outsource some of the videos here, uh, video um, production and stuff mm -hmm. to, to get us more, uh, to be able to take care of our clients. Yeah. Basically to create more leverage in our business. Right. Mm -hmm. um, a really big thing that I want to focus on is uh, I've learned a lot in this past year in terms of what our strengths are in terms of delivering outstanding service to our clients. So of course you guys know we do design services, we do YouTube coaching, and then there's a the course stuff as well. So I really want to make it clear those packages and those offers that, um, that we can help you with on our website and in other places as well. Because if you go to our website now, you know, you, you can get to know what we do, but I think it can be more clarified in terms of offers and packages and just making it easier for people to see like, okay, this is what I get. This is what will happen. If I work with you, let's do it. Um, I'm always like, you know, we've reiterated the website so many times and it's, I mean, it's for a reason, right? As you evolve in your business, your messaging will evolve as well. Um, so we're like this past year was all about like the rebranding Esatino Media. It just feels so good. And, you know, it's it really speaks to like the whole create profitable content because we 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 do help you create profitable content in many different ways, whether it's a YouTube video, a des like a graphic design piece, a PDF, a, a course, like it's all related. So I think now that we've honed that messaging now it's just a matter of okay so what are what what can you buy from us basically in simple terms um and not cuz like um, like a lot of the stuff on the website right now like i said is showing up it, it shows you what we do but i think creating more packages makes it easier for people to buy mm -hmm. i always say when you when you confuse you lose that's a huge marketing phrase um so when someone comes to your website are you making it clear and I think we can make it more clear. So that's one of, you know, the things that I'm going to be working on is making that messaging more clear on the website. Yeah. And another thing is, um, and I've been thinking about this for a while, is um, in January, specifically in the beginning of January, we're going to do this thing where, remember when I had mentioned that I scheduled out an entire year of different kinds of posts on the YT community tab, on the YouTube community tab mm -hmm. on this channel. You may, you, you probably have seen it if you've, it, it, that, that was scheduled out like in February of earlier this year and it's been going on its own, you know? And I was like, I did a little test and I spent the entire day just scheduling out different types of content, whether it be polls, images, uh, questions, videos, photos and I was just doing that for the whole year and I saw that it was an amazing like that taking that one day to do that was so worth it and so in 2023 we're going to do this thing where um, we're going to go off and seclude ourselves right and just schedule the crap out Away of everything from distractions because yeah. there's so much distraction everywhere you're getting calls messages from just everyone all the time and I need to be in a secluded place and just schedule out like Instagram, uh, the YouTube community tab, our Facebook groups, emails, like email newsletters, doing like what all that kind of stuff that can be scheduled. I want to take like 10 days and just like schedule it out for the entire year. I think a lot of the things that, you know, pertains to our goals is working, get working on the business. Um, Cause we're great at the service based stuff and getting clients, client work done and everything. 
but just carving out that time to work more on the Esatino business um, and being more intentional with where we want to take this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm excited for that. And another goal that I have is to get our, um, our passive income higher mm -hmm. because like Arit just mentioned, we're noticing that service-based business, like offering a service for money, it's like we can get the money for that. Like we can attract the big dollars for that. As we've just mentioned, you know, doing the six figures um, client. And so we need our passive income to match that as well. So another thing I want to do is get our passive income to the five figures just alone so that, you know, mm -hmm. that's doing like its own thing by itself and build, build whatever needs to be built for that. Let's see some of your goals over here. I saw someone say jump off a helicopter. I don't think that. <laughs> Private patrol. I think he's telling us to do that. Or you um, jump off the helicopter, <laughs> pick some ice, and make a great cocktail. You know, I have only seen, actually, I saw the Yes Theory channel. They um, had to pull some crazy strings and they bungee jumped off of a moving helicopter into the Grand Canyon. And that's Ooh. not like a regular service you can get. Like you can go bungee jump. I bungee jumped, uh, but uh, bungee jumping off of a helicopter, helicopter. A needs, moving helicopter. Yeah, it needs a certain clearance. So, and I don't know if I would do that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's just like, there's, yeah, you're you're not bouncing off of one place. You're You're literally, you're still moving. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. By. It was like, and it was into the Grand Canyon, which is also another epic thing. Did they make a great cocktail? No, <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> it's a good lineup, Product Patrol. Okay, goal for Timothy. I want 300 new students for my current course. And so that's nice. amazing. That's a great goal. Uh, what are you going to be doing to get 300 new students you know, what's your, do you have a marketing plan? Have you thought about that yet? Um, you know, um, we chatted about some ideas uh, for your YouTube channel that you could do. The second half or more of this year, I slacked off with North of Seven. The channel is still growing and moving forward. Income still strong, but starting this past week and next year, I want to grow. Nice. So it sounds like your goal is to focus more on North of Seven and just mm -hmm. putting more, more time into that, into growing that along with the income as well. I see here the channel, get that channel more, get the income up to 3000 per month and higher. Yeah. Nice, Roland. It's a, yeah, it's definitely a nice chunk of change. Mm -hmm. uh, I still remember when our Google ad revenue during the pandemic was at 5k, 6k per month. I knew it wouldn't yeah. last and that it was like a rare moment in time because like literally everybody was online but yeah but we rode that way <laughs> yeah. we were pumping out so many videos during that time yeah seven videos a day a day <laughs> yes we were pumping out seven videos a, a day. day i don't yes. even remember a day well, we couldn't leave i like, know several videos i don't even know how we did that <laughs> seven a day yeah well we were like because everybody was online so we were like okay zoom tutorials skype tutorials yeah, yeah you know yeah. those tutorials yeah, we had a whole plan and we, yeah, we rode that crazy wave. But yeah, 3K a month would be awesome. Tracy saying to get more brand deals that pay cash and not just free product. Yes, mm, that's a good yeah. one. Um, still need to work on this part of the course for the profitable yes. channel. Yeah. Another goal of ours is to uh, put more content into the profitable channel, have the monthly live stream start up again. And uh, one of the sections is going to be like how we get paid for our um, brand deals. Like with the few that we have, we we don't get a crazy amount, but we do get paid um, something and, you know, something's better than nothing. So we'll put how how exactly we, we get those, how we get them to pay. Basically. Yeah. It's all in the wording, really. It's yeah. all in the wording. And it, yeah, it. it it really does depend on on your channel too. some channels just it does well to entirely focus on brand deals. We're actually helping another one of our clients our YouTube coaching clients focus entirely on that. Um, I'm actually in the process of 
redoing a landing page for him so that people actually know they can collaborate with him and and, and sponsor his channel because he has he has the audience for it. He has like a hundred, I think it's one hundred and thirty thousand subscribers. Um, so yeah, with something like that, you have a lot of leverage as a smaller channel, you can still get brand deals. Don't get me wrong. You don't need like the, the big audience to get, we were getting brand deals. I think like when, when I was doing when, more product reviews, product, yeah, but we had like a low, like we had a lower amount of subscribers too. So yeah. Um, and that was with lower amount. Like yeah. we didn't even have 20,000 subscribers yet. This is when I was like, I do like doing product reviews but um, they do take more time because I have mm -hmm. to like real, I like to really say my thoughts about the product and not just be like, oh, here's a product and you know, buy my link in the description below. Like I actually want to provide value. So I've had to pull back on those videos because they take longer. But when we were doing them often, we were getting pitched like all the time for product reviews and not everyone would pay, but there was a certain way that we would, email them uh, in response uh, to create leverage where they're like wanting to pay us. Yeah. And we're, we're going to share those templates in the profitable channel course. And here's another thing. If they're not willing to pay you and the product is good, you can say, okay, well um, give me two or three of the product and I'll do a giveaway for two of them. And then, you know, during the giveaway, you're like, make sure you're subscribed and then giveaway. Or you say, I want two or three of the product and then just sell two or three of the product and then make the money off of that. So that's another thing we used to do. Is or if affiliate of stuff, right? Affiliate income as well. Um, yeah. There's so many different ways you can get paid besides just the free product for brand deals. That's a good goal, Tracy. Uh, Felix, more revenue than this year, 2022, with less stress overall. Yeah, that's a good mm. one. Plus growing the YouTube channel with more intentional videos. Love that. Nice. Yeah, that's a good goal. More Very revenue. Cool. So, Do you have a number in mind or you're just wanting it to be more? So, and another thing to add to that, because you, you mentioned the part with less stress overall. So think about how can you systemize things? How can you document your processes, for example, so that you're not spending time trying to think of doing the same things over and over again and starting from scratch, uh, whether that's like creating a, a, a YouTube video for your channel, or it could be sending out an email um, to someone. Always think about how can I make this more efficient? How can I systemize or have a template or a tool that I can use that can make things go faster? That's really going to help with the less stress overall piece. Mm -hmm. Brain says too many goals. I want to build a couple of niche websites, build an EDC channel, uh, get healthier, get my mom being healthier, renovations on the new house, training my dog, playing <laughs> instruments and more. So I think that you should prioritize different cool. things because those are all great goals. But, you know, as unfortunately as humans, when we have so many things, and you don't do them, you don't take time to build each one, then when you try to do all of them, you end up kind of doing nothing. So I would say in order of importance, get yourself healthier first. And then when you are healthier, then you can take care of others like your mom and stuff. And so that's what I do. I, I make sure that I'm the healthiest I can be and the strongest I can both mentally and physically. So I also can take care of my mom because that's what I need to do right now. And then, and then I would, I would choose one of the, uh, a money making thing, uh, either the, you know, the niche building websites. I'm not sure what an EDC channel is. Do you know what that is? Uh, I know EDC in terms of like the music community, but I'm not sure if it's the same thing. Um, Brayden, I'm curious, what instrument do you want to play? Yeah. Um, but that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I have like, besides Esatino Media and the business, I have lots of other personal goals too. By the way, next year will be the year that I'm releasing new music. Woo! So yeah, it's, I'm really excited for that to Cinematic, release ethnic pop music. I'm really excited, yeah, to release a new sound and um, and a whole new vibe from the music side of things. Yeah, 
it's gonna be like i've heard some of the tracks and i'm like whoa this is completely different than what you've done but also epic that's a good word epic yeah. yes but i don't want to overhype it up because it's, it's not yeah it's, it's not for everyone either okay well let's just say it's the type of music that i would listen to while running on the treadmill <laughs> and then when certain parts happen in the song you want to run faster that's that's a very good description when i'm on the treadmill <laughs> yeah i need like epic music i think of the movie gladiator <laughs> yeah. if you had a soundtrack to or there is a soundtrack to gladiator <laughs> but that is like the vibe that theme um create some community projects in the new community i've moved to mm, cool nice awesome. lots of things yeah Choose one to start off with and get really good at that. Um, we de definitely need to break our goals down into smaller chunks. It comes back to the 1% thing, right? It's yeah. like, that's your goal. Definitely write it down and then ask yourself, what is the one step that I can take right now? You know, um, and you can ask yourself that every day or if you only have time to work on your goal once a week, that's fine too once a week know the day know the time where you sit down and ask yourself that question what is one thing i can do right now and that stacks over time right those small steps stack and i would also say do the ones that like you've been thinking about for years the ones that are eating away at you that you know you need to do yeah, there's like, like a burning desire yeah. to do it. Yeah. Because if it's like, oh, I'd like to start an instrument, then it's like you're less likely to like really go into it and really make something happen with it. Like what's the goal that you you just can't stop thinking about? Like you're always thinking about it. Sometimes it might keep you up at night. Like, yeah, you that's, know, that's that's the one that is signaling to you like you got to do this. You got to work on it. Mm hmm. Or at least you got to try it out and see if, if, if you do actually like it. Mm -hmm. Tracy says, I like your goal as well, Roland. More revenue in 2023 would be great. Yes. And, you know, when we would learn from these, uh, in particular, his name is Todd Herman. He would be like, okay, mm -hmm. you want this, like, goal, right? And you always have to make it, you always want to make it, have a number so it's like more revenue so roland said 3k right and so it would be like what are you at right now let's say you're at 1k and you're like okay you need 2000 more so what is it that you're going to do differently to get to the 3k or is it like you do the same thing and then you're naturally going to get to 3k and you just need to be consistent so you need to come up with that plan and kind of like work backwards yeah. and, and see, okay, a 3K, we want to get here per month. What's needed? What's necessary to make that happen? Yeah. And whenever I project manage for our clients, so like, for example, launching a course, that's a project, right? Um, we always look at that end goal, that end result and work backwards from there and then hash out all of the tasks and what needs to get done. Um, another thing with Todd Herman is he always talks about working on your goal in two week sprints. So, you know, you once you figured out like the tasks that you need to work on, like whether it's, for example, you want to grow the channel, want to release an extra video a week, um, then, you know, you got to your tasks are like writing out the script. If you do that or writing out an outline, filming, right, everything that comes under that project he says to set those tasks out for two weeks and work on them. And then at the end of those two weeks, you assess where you're at. And that review piece is also really important uh, when you're working to achieve a goal because you're acknowledging the goal itself. You're revisiting the goal. You're reminding yourself of it and you're not getting lost in working for it, if that makes sense. Sometimes like we could just do the tasks and then like it falls by the wayside or we, you know, we'll get distracted with this other thing here. So by doing those two week sprints and revisiting the goal itself, what's working, what's not working. Oh, maybe I should pivot to try this thing right here, this different strategy. It just really, um, yeah, it really helps you build a stronger foundation and pull that goal forward every two weeks. Yeah. So 
uh, give you an example for that scheduling thing where I told you that we want to schedule out an entire year of the YouTube community tab, the Instagram, the Esatino Instagram, emails, and I think uh, the Facebook groups. And so I, I did a test, right? I did a test that it took me about a day to do the YouTube community tab for mm -hmm. the entire year. And so I, I'm like, okay, I'll probably need a day for that, a day for, you know, um, a day or two for Instagram, definitely like two days probably for email because that requires writing and stuff like that. And so I calculated I'm going to need about 10 days to schedule out everything. And so um, I'm like making moves and making plans to have that actually happen. And the fact that I keep saying it out loud to you guys is making me accountable because I'm telling, like I'm, I'm solidifying it by I've just now said it to hundreds of people, uh, you know, on the replay. It's making it real. And I'm saying in January, ten days, do this, this, and this. And so I'm like, I keep putting myself accountable, saying it out loud, have the plan. So don't just like, um, you know, a lot of people just say goals in the air, and then it's like, oh, it didn't happen, and it's like. There's a reason why there's a target emoji, and it's like, well, if you're not aiming for the target, you're gonna hit the window you're over there. Miss. Yeah, yeah. You need to know where you're going in order to get there, right? Um, yeah, that's a really good point. I will be doing some advertising on my live streams, short videos, and email marketing to new purchasers of my inks and airbrush. Cool. Um, All right. An idea for you, Timothy, when you do your live streams. Uh, I believe you do you do them directly onto YouTube. I don't know if you do, but you can. Um, and we've done this before on our channel as well, where you do a comment on the YouTube uh, chat, the live chat, and then you can pin that comment to the top. I'm sure you've seen us do it in our for the profitable channel course. And then that comment gets pinned to the top and you can do the course and say, you know, whatever the name of your course is, airbrush course, you know, and then you can link. And then it's like, I think it shows up blue or maroon or something. And it's pinned to the top and everybody sees it during the entire time of the live stream. So that's something to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make it something enticing, maybe like a question, that comment, like the text in that comment, but make it short too. So something like, um, do you want to learn from me how to, or do you want to become better at airbrush painting? Or would you like to learn from me how to get better at airbrush painting or something like that? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and then put the link. So a question is always good because usually if, you know, it piques curiosity and if the answer to that is yes, they're more likely to click on the link. Oh, right. It's the everyday carry channel. Got mm -hmm. it. Thanks. Brayden. I was thinking of the, just, um, like an EDM festival, <laughs> yeah, an electric music festival. I think it's that's like something in Vegas. To, that's something to think about for your name because yeah, that's the first thing I thought of was the EDC festival. Yeah, I think so it's an EDM festival. I, I would not um, like when you're naming your channel. I would name it Everyday Carry. Like I wouldn't do. I wouldn't short form it because then people might think it's like for electronic music. Oh, cool. You play the ukulele, which you've built. Very cool. So it says here, most people in the space focus on bushcraft, but I want to focus on normal day-to-day -day stuff. Mm. I play the ukulele. I have built one myself and guitar mainly. You know, if you did a video on you, you um, building a ukulele, that would probably do really well. Yeah, that's something really unique. Yeah. I'm I'm um, doing a crazy art project right now for my nephew's birthday, and I'm always like thinking, oh, if I filmed this and I put it on YouTube, it would get so many views. But like, that's a whole nother art channel, and there's just so many ideas. And I actually have to limit myself. That's another thing is having the restraint to be like. No, I can't really go down that rabbit hole right now. I have to stick to. Yeah. That's why you have to like know what your priorities are and what the overall 
goal is for you. Yeah. What you say yes to is just as important as what you say no to and yeah. vice versa, right? Yeah. Um, another thing too, you were saying you want to learn how to play guitar. That's one of the goals. Um, this is taking accountability to a whole nother level, but a lot of people start channels because they have a goal and they document the process along the way. Mm -hmm. um, right. We did that with the, with jam designs and selling merch. Like we didn't know how that was going to turn out uh, and the money that would we'd make and all of the stuff that was involved. But like ever so often we'd release these episodes on the channel and just share our experience. Yeah. And Same was... thing with Facebook marketplace, right? Um, you, you have a goal, you release videos, just literally documenting, say what you did, what you didn't do, what the results of it was, what you learned, you know? Um, so that's another way to kind of keep yourself accountable to a goal. Yeah, side note on the Facebook Marketplace episodes, I had to put those on pause because things were getting really crazy. And again, I had to assess what was on the priority scale here. And it was like catering to the six-figure client or me selling something on Facebook Marketplace for $50, you know? So I had to like, you know, weigh it out. I do, I am going to pick it back up. I'm basically almost at $4,000 on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, I do still have my goal to get to 5,000. So I will complete that. I will continue to do episodes until I get to 5,000. But again, I have to realign things and see like what's happening here. I really want to get more into the technical stuff, synths and pedals and just making weird, funky and dancey sounds. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I know what exactly what you're talking about. You know, another another thing that people do well in is um, creating sound effects mm -hmm. for copyright free media website websites. So g give you an example. I have a yearly subscription to artlist.io. We're actually in partners with them. And uh, one of the things is in addition to affiliate is they give us access to their software that I was already going to use. So that that already is, you know, several hundred dollars of savings. And so they actually have sound effects. So when I'm editing videos, I need to find like paper, um, people ruffling through paper or a spring sound. And every time I download one of those sounds, that creator of the sound gets an affiliate royalty, a commission or whatever. Uh, not sure how much, cause I've never actually gotten into that area, but you know, it's uh, that's another thing to get into that, that you can get into if you're into making weird sounds. Cause that people are always looking for cool sounds on art list. Yeah. All right. Uh, reaching the end here, pinning comments. That is a great idea. Yeah, uh, pinning the comments both on the live chat and in the actual comments, like the non-live comments. So doing both. Uh, and Brayden says, I also need to build up my workshop and a project I have in mind is showing people who live in apartments or other limited space how to build a guitar. Mm. Very cool. There's wow. so many things on. Lots of ideas. Yeah, Brayden, that's, that's cool. Like, yeah, like Joel said, Pick one, you gotta pick, pick one, or pick two. Um, I like a say business one, one, and then like a personal one, and then, yeah, okay, yeah, and <laughs> and then just run with it. Like plan out again. What is that first step that I need to take, and re keep revisiting that goal every two weeks. Cool. All right. Thank you, everybody, for sharing your goals for 2023. We are mm. fast approaching. By the time you know it's next week, it's gonna be like. It's going to be like almost December. Uh, we're going to be doing cool. Stay tuned because we're going to be doing cool Christmas contests, giveaways. Uh, this one's going to be bigger than ever than last year. We always try to make it bigger each year. And so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, as always, it's been really cool hanging out with you guys. Thank you guys for participating. Stay tuned next week for episode 122. Uh, on Thursdays at 6 p.m. PST. Yes, we'll see you then, guys. Have a great rest of the week. And um, and thank you to everybody for showing up today and showing your support and participating. Bye for now. Bye, everybody.